Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you're all having a wonderful day where we are. It's raining, so it's not that good, but hope it's better where you are. In this video, we were looking at trios and how you can improve and do better in the arena and cash cult when they come back. So let's get straight into it, boys. But hope must first of all make sure you do subscribe and drop a like on the video and comment something nice and I'll show you out on the next one. And yeah guys, so the first tip is chemistry. You need good chemistry if you're a trio. Chemistry is good communication, knowing each other's play styles, just generally liking each other as well. There's nothing worse than having a trio but there's one person you don't really like in it. And if you have to split up, split up. But let's try and get good chemistry with your trio like I said maybe know them from outside of Fortnite so you might already have good chemistry maybe you just found them on Instagram or something so try and build that chemistry a few tips that um, I would recommend you do if you want to build better chemistry is play some free freeze box fights free freeze realistics and also do um, customs yes customs because they maybe do like no killing till like half and half soon or something so you just get that so you build up that communication late game try and get late game in the arena so you've got better communication and just get used to each other's play styles maybe there's one person in your team is not very really good at building or mechanically so maybe like just try and help them their mechanics and stuff it's all about helping each other out you're, you're a trio together and like solo to on your own you don't really need to get good chemistry because you already got good chemistry because yourself. So about like make kind of like you want to be good friends like in the game and also outside like you're trying to help each other out. You're together. You're working together to so make sure you have good chemistry. That's a big part of a good trio. Number three, boy, if you don't get roles. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen now of all the different roles. I don't want to read as I would explain it. And since um, trios came out, lots of people were talking about roles and stuff. I'll quickly go over them now. Um, the IGL is the in-game leader. He's lit like it says the in-game leader. He's like calls for the drop spots. Yeah, calls for drop spots. Looks for enemies contesting. He calls to fight or disengage. That's a very big one. I am the IGL in my trio. Carries best they are to infinite fights. Then that's the early game. The mid game, he's always the front of the trio. He always calls them to engage or or avoid enemies. Builds and covers for team to rotate. Picks which rotation they're going to do. And for late game, he always uses the launch pads. Launch pads carries max materials. Calls to rotate. Tunnels for team. Makes calls to changes in elevation. And carries floppers to make floppy plays and storms. So that is a creep quick grief of the IGL. The fragger is the earliest dropper, he can take 50-50 to gain the upper hand. M generally more aggressive but not as stupidly aggressive like those and tries to fight a trio that are like mid range storm. But then he always says mid range trio gets involved in fights, looks the flanks and late game looks to um, get refresh kills and just yeah and supplies the IGL with mat. Then the support is the high dropper, scouts enemies and loots to find shield and health. As you can see, there's also like the best loadout you could say for them. He's the rear of the trio for mid game, doesn't over communicate, but of course, still communicates. And he often has placed at the back with an AR or a minigun. And for the late game, he avoids um, people be beaming the people at front and supplies us with the mats. So that's just a quick brief of the roles in the game. Very quick to there, maybe you just may have an Instagram like chat or whatever. Maybe just try and give those roles out and maybe you'll play a bit better. It's just a thing to think about. Then number two, three, oh my days, I get mixed up with my numbers today. Number three is practice. This is very similar to chemistry. Make sure you practice with your trio. If you want to actually make and actually do well, you gotta practice. Like hop in, like you can't like just be like, oh, okay, uh, okay. You can't, you can't be like, oh, I, I need a good trio. Then don't play with them. Like, does that make sense? You gotta constantly and keep on playing and grind together. You gotta practice with each other. You gotta like just play with each other as much as you can so you get used to them and everything. That is such a big part. You're gonna grind your season, grind arena, and just grind with each other. And that is all the tips I got for you today, guys. Short video. I think this video is a bit better, so I'm gonna do more of them. And that's it guys, so hope you enjoyed, like I said, subscribe, 
Uh, I like really turn notifications on. Next video, I don't know, Jeff can't believe I want to see next. Might do a montage. Oh, montages are good. So, yeah, got something good planned. And yeah, see you guys. Hope you enjoy. Peace.